What's up guys? It's Amelia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of Physicians Formula. I've only ever tried a couple things from that makeup brand, but I just wanted to go all in and really explore the brand as a whole. So if you guys want to see me do a full face of Physicians Formula, then just keep watching. Okay, so the only things I didn't pick up are a primer and a brow product, but everything else is completely from Physicians Formula. So I already put on a primer. I put on the Origins Original Skin Primer because it's one of my favorites and I feel like I know how it wears so I can accurately test out the Physicians Formula the healthy foundation first of all I have to say the packaging is absolutely beautiful I love it and I love how it also has an SPF 20 in it that is so awesome and I am in the shade LN3 how do I open this oh it's a twist oh it's a doe foot okay we're gonna start with that on the one side and I'm just gonna be using a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush. I have no idea if this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation, but it does say it is for all skin types, which is really nice. It has a funny smell to it too. I don't know how I feel about the smell. Okay, the coverage is okay. It's not like the best coverage I've had. I think I'm just gonna do one more layer at least especially by my cheeks and a little bit more on my chin so we're just gonna see if it builds which it seems to build okay it's definitely more of a dewy foundation it's not matte which i think is like my main preference is like a matte foundation then i'm just gonna go in with a damp beauty blender and kind of just pat it out all right next we're gonna go in with the physicians formula full coverage concealer i I was gonna take this out of the package, but I wanted to show you how it came. It's their Insta Ready Concealer, and it comes with a little sponge on top. At first, I thought the sponge was actually attached to the top of this, but I'm pretty sure they're not attached. And this is in the shade Fair. It says it's new on the package, but I don't know how accurate that is. I do like how it comes with its own sponge. I feel like that's not very common at all to get a sponge with your concealer. And it has like a little like twisting action. I don't know if you can see that. This also has an SPF of 30, which is really really awesome oh it's a pump what <laughs> i was not expecting a pump i kind of wish that the foundation had the pump and the concealer had the doe foot i'm gonna apply it on the back of my hand if it comes out it broke it okay there we go am i supposed to wet this doesn't say i'm just gonna use this dry that's probably a bad idea <laughs> I will say it gets really close to the eye, which is actually really, really nice. I'm gonna take some and put some on top of the eyelid as well. I actually kind of like this, even like not wet. I don't know if it's supposed to. Look how brightening that is. My, my eye looks so different. Like, look at that. Like, it's crazy how brightening this is. All right, I'm just gonna put a little bit down the nose as well. A little bit on my forehead and then a little bit on my chin. I will say I really wish this had a doe foot because I just wasted all that concealer. I like the formula of it. I like the coverage it gives. I like the little sponge it comes with. So we'll see how it settles onto my skin. But right now we need to set it first. And I'm going to be using the Physicians Formula Mineral Face Powder. What I found really interesting about this was that it contains SPF 16. Normally it's like SPF 15, SPF 20, 25, but no, this is 16. <laughs> But I really love how all of their face products contain an SPF because that's like super, super important. It comes with a mirror and then it also comes with this little brush. Normally I wouldn't use the brush, but we'll try it out. Why not? We'll try it. I guess we'll try. <gasps> I just got some all over. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. You know what? No, I, I can't use the brush. That's too weird. Oh, I got all over my pants though. I'm just going to use my Mr. Perfect brush pick up all the fallout that whoa I'm just gonna pat this onto my skin i feel like there's a weird smell to these i don't know it's probably the spf in it that's making it smell weird Ooh, this powder's nice oh my goodness i actually really like this powder i'm actually gonna just take this little sponge applicator dab into it and set my under eye area because it's already creasing on me if i took like a regular beauty sponge and put it on like it picks up a lot of powder so i like so far i'm just kind of nervous i'm gonna break out from these products because the butter bronzer actually breaks me out if i put contour normally i'll get like a little line of zits <laughs> so hopefully not all of their products break me out okay next i'm just gonna go in with the butter bronzer i honestly love this bronzer besides the fact that it does break me out a little bit but it just gives like the perfect 
beautiful shade of bronzer and like you can't you can't beat that really a little bit down my nose don't forget the forehead over here oh there's my baby hairs this also comes with a little applicator which i have tried out before i'm just not a big fan of it but i do like how it comes with a mirror so i'm gonna move on to their blush but this is their butter blush and this one is in the shade vintage rose it looks really really pretty kind of pinky this also comes with an applicator but i'm not even gonna bother with the applicator so now see how well this applies is it applying I definitely have to build this up, but it is a really pretty natural kind of looking pink, which is really nice. I do like the natural vibe. So next, I think I want to go straight to the eyes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So this is the Physicians Formula Matte Collection. This is their quad eyeshadow, and this is the classic nudes one. From what I remember, they had some really cool looking eyeshadow palettes, but I saw this one on Ulta. It wasn't that expensive at all. I don't know, something about this just intrigued me. I thought it was super cute and compact. It comes with a little mirror up here, and then it comes with a little applicator. I don't think this actually has names for all of these colors, but we're going to go into this very light color right here. And I'm just going to use this. Oh, I think this is supposed to be a highlighter color, <laughs> but I'm just going to use this all over the lid. Yeah, this is definitely meant for like a highlighter color. Honestly, I didn't think this color would show up at all. all right, I'm going to move up to this light brown over here and use that all over the lid. I feel like this was supposed to be the base color. Next, we're going to go into the second darkest brown up here. And I'm gonna use that in my crease. It's not like super pigmented, but I think that's just the whole vibe I'm getting from the line. I'm like really, really building this up and it's taking quite the minute, but it is working really nicely. Then we're gonna go into the darkest shade and apply this to the outer corners. Well, this is a nice color. I really like that color. I feel like this could work. You just really have to build it up and play with it. I think my favorite are these two bottom colors. They definitely have the most pigment to them. I think I definitely want to take some of this blush and see if it works as an eyeshadow. I mean, it kind of does. I don't know. <gasps> Do you see that? So much creasing going on under the eye. I'm just going to reapply loose powder underneath. Maybe I just didn't apply enough. All right, so we're gonna go into the darkest shade in the quad and apply it to the lower lash line. You know, I think I'm gonna actually take the butter bronzer and kind of use that in my crease as well. I feel like I just want it a little darker in the crease. So then I just wanna take my fluffy brush again and kind of apply the super, super light color right underneath my brows. I really like this. I just feel like you really, really have to build it up to get some color, but honestly, I really like it for just like the new makeup, makeup vibe kind of feel. You know what I mean? I'm very curious to see if their other eyeshadows are like this or if they're slightly different in formula, but if you guys have ever tested out the Physicians Formula eyeshadow palettes, please let me know, and if you have a favorite, love to know that. Let's move on to highlighter. I am so excited about this. Apparently, this is a new product. At least that's what the packaging says, but it's their butter highlighter and this is in the shade iridescent and you guys it, it's white it has like a beautiful purpley green kind of glitter shimmer to it so i am so excited oh my gosh can you see that on camera first of all this is crazy pigmented and it is purple <laughs> oh my goodness okay this is definitely not a natural Highlighter. I'm gonna try to build it up so you guys can see it to its full glory of what I'm seeing. I genuinely don't know how I feel about this product. It's like a pure purple highlight. Oh my gosh. This is a very interesting product here. I'm gonna try swatching. Ooh, that is buttery. Just gonna swatch it for you guys. I'm honestly surprised that this highlighter is in this line because so far I'm getting like super natural vibes from Physicians Formula, but this is definitely not a natural highlight. It's a very purpley, pinky highlight. Oh, I'm just getting galactic vibes from it. So the next thing I picked up is the Physicians Formula Eye Booster. This is a two-in-one lash boosting eyeliner and serum. It's supposed to improve your eyelash appearance, which is Quite interesting, but I really do like how it's hyperallergenic, fragrance-free, paraben-free, gluten-free, and cruelty-free, of course. This does look like a brush tip, so that's what I'm hoping for. Okay. 
I'm not mad at it. It's pretty. I mean, I just wish it was a little more intense, I guess. Okay, I will say one thing about this eyeliner is that it's really easy to apply. Like, I'm not the greatest at applying liquid liner, and this I'm actually really, really impressed by. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to add this as a inner corner highlight. I don't know how I feel about it, but I, I kind of want to do it. It's kind of pretty as an inner corner highlight. So I'm just going to curl my lashes really quick. So next is mascara. This is the 100% natural origin jumbo lash mascara and it's also for sensitive eyes which that's really interesting i've never had an issue with mascara that's really awesome how they thought about doing it for sensitive eyes and that is a really big brush Ooh, <gasps> ooh, okay this is such a pretty mascara like i'm genuinely impressed it's definitely a more subtle natural everyday mascara i'm gonna apply a second quote really quick because it did say it was for more dramatic lashes. I like it. I like it. I can actually see myself wearing this like on an everyday basis. That's really odd to say because I am very picky when it comes to mascara, but it just creates a really nice wispy kind of effect. All right, I'm just gonna do my brows really, really quickly. I didn't pick up the brow product from Physicians Formula, but I do have this e.l.f. brow product that I've never really tried. It is their e.l.f. brow pencil and I've heard really amazing things about it. Oh, this is actually really nice. I don't know, I like how it gives like a really natural look. That's really pretty. Oh my gosh. Elf, you impressed me again with your brow product. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot lip. I love these so much. These are the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Lip Velvet Finish. I have two shades of this. One is all natural nude and this one is in the shade Coral Minerals. I love these so much. The formula is stunning and uh, they feel so comfortable on your lips all day. It's just so creamy and nice and beautiful and I love this little pop of color we got going on right now. So now we are done. This is a full face of Physicians Formula. I actually really loved a majority of these products. Something that really impressed me though was this Insta Ready Full Coverage Concealer with the little sponge. I really, really enjoyed this even though I don't like how it's a pump, but it's super, super nice. So far I haven't really seen any creasing from when I reapplied the powder. Yeah, so far I really, really enjoy that. All right, you guys. So that is the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really, really does help support my channel. And question of the video, what is your favorite brand from the drugstore? I have been loving drugstore makeup recently and I would love to do more full face of drugstore brands. So yeah, let me know your favorites down below. And if you're new to my channel, hi. I'm Amelia. <laughs> if you guys want to see more beauty and lifestyle and just fun videos like this, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button that is right down below. And if you're already subscribed to my channel and don't want to miss a single video that I post, be sure to hit the little notification bell that is right next to the subscribe button. This way you will get notified as soon as I upload a video. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you next time.